Hey guys, I've been here, how's it going? It is Monday evening, it's five o'clock. Uh, I've just got out of work. Uh, I'm in Tottenham Court Road tube station. Uh, and it is Crystal Palace versus Liverpool, the match day vlog. Uh, three hours until kickoff. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna get home, quickly chuck my shit down, get changed, and then it's on the road, uh, straight to Palace. And this musician sings over me. Let's do it. It's now six o'clock, two hours to kick off. I'm home, I'm changed, I'm good to go. Um, so yeah, let's get out of here. Let's get to the Tube London Bridge. Let's meet Oliver Bond and let's get the train to Palace and let's fucking get into these Reds. Happy about it. I thought Mike Oliver was actually really bad first half. Um, loads of 50 50s went their way. Obviously, I've only seen the penalty once. It looked like he had a, a hand on the shoulder. So, you know, it looked like a penalty to me. But I'm sure we'll see the replay later on. 1 0 half time. We've been the better side. Palace threatened towards the end of the half. But I think overall we deserve to be in front. Let's hope we can uh, hang on to it.
apparently he went down easily, but um, got tripped. As per Twitter. Come on, you Revan. Right, I'm back in the flat building. Let's round up the game. My back's in agony. Um, but God, I'm, I'm just so happy. I'm so, so happy to have won that game. I was shitting myself at the end, I really was. Um, yeah, let's get back to the flat. Right, I'm going to sit myself down here and talk about the game for a few minutes. Um, so, my thoughts obviously wasn't... Oh! Obviously it wasn't a vintage display. Um, it's never easy going to Palace away. It's not a buried ground for us, even though people seem to think it is. Um, that's four wins there on the trot now for us in the Premier League. Um, might even be five if you count the FA Cup, I think. Um, yeah, I mean, we dominated the first half, had all of the ball. Didn't create too much. We, we, I think we were a bit reluctant to shoot. I think the chances to shoot from the edge of the box, you know, guys that can stroke a ball as well. Um, you know, Milner, Cater had openings from sort of 25 yards out. Um, but yeah, I mean, we were obviously looking for that perfect pass. Um, it came through a penalty. I've still not seen it back. I probably should have done that before I came on here, but I've literally just walked through the door. Um, Mo Salah, uh, the talk is that, you know, he went down easily, but was tripped. So, you know, I don't think we can have any argu arguments about that. There'll be discussions on the red card. I heard a, I heard a couple of Palace fans moaning about that. They were watching replays on their phones and moaning about it. Um, but, you know, why would he go down? Uh, it's a cliche, but why would he go down um, when he's literally through on goal? wan is quick, and I thought he was actually quite good for Palace. I thought Palace played well. Zaha was a threat. Um, Townsend played well when he was on the pitch. Um, Schlupp was, was uh, a menace. I thought Palace were quite organised, two banks of four. Um, difficult enough to break down. Um, we didn't create loads and loads and loads of chances. A couple that we should have done better with, maybe Cater in the first half. Um, but yeah, we get the penalty. Um, I mean, the front three tonight were just not at the race. They, they were at the races, but they weren't at the absolute top of their game. They're not quite in that rhythm yet. Um, we saw glimpses in pre-season. We saw glimpses, well, they were pretty good against West Ham. They struggled a bit here tonight. They, they came up against a good defence. I thought Sacco played well for, for Palace, bar the penalty incident. Um, Tompkins made a couple of good challenges. So yeah, Palace, I think they'll be perfectly safe this season. I think they're a mid-table side, um, uh, which pains me to say under Hodgson. But yeah, we get the penalty and Milner tucks it away. Um, and in second half, to be honest, uh, we don't control it as well. Um, I think we really kind of dropped off. Um, Henderson was needed. I, I, I called the Henderson for Milner sub quite early. Uh, well, about five minutes before it happened. And that did help. Um, and yeah, we always looked dangerous on the break. Just a couple of final balls, not quite there. Salah's touch, not quite there. I thought Salah was the worst of the front three. Firmino wasn't quite there, but I think it was more... more um, positioning for him whereas Salah it was purely his touch and his decision making was poor but we're not going to worry about that because you know he still um, you know he still gets fouled for the penalty and he still gets fouled for the red card he's still the biggest threat on the pitch of course and he will still score tons of goals this season and get assists um, I think two assists for him tonight is it um, did he play the path through to Mane so yeah, the defence, I mean, Van Dijk's getting a lot of praise on Twitter, and rightly so. Joe Gomez, likewise. I thought Trent was excellent. I thought he was probably my favourite performance of, on the night, um, just because he had a bit of a rough game against West Ham. Not not a, not a bad game, but, you know, the, the least comfortable of, of the back four. Um, but he was very comfortable there tonight against a tough um, tough opposition, really. He had Zaha running at him a lot of the game. Um, and Alisson, terrific. On the ball, uh, a couple of decent saves, a free kick, another one that was straight at him but had to work to catch it. Um, yeah, really promising from him on a day which Karras is being loaned out for two years. Naby Keita, I'm, I'm just glad I got to witness that turn, uh, that turn and the through ball which Shella uh, chipped over the bar, but that turn um, pass was at wan um, to get out of trouble. Oh, majestic, majestic. All round delighted with the three points. Absolutely thrilled. Leave a comment with your man of the match and your thoughts on the game. Mine's Trent, but yeah, let me know yours. Um, so yeah, played two, won two, scored six, conceded none. Can't ask more than that from those first two games. You'd say, I mean, they were both must win. You know, City are winning, we're winning. We're keep, we've got to keep pace with them all season. Um, but lots of teams will go to Palace this year and drop points. We haven't done that. Uh, 
Lots of teams will go to Leicester and drop points. We go there after Brighton. We cannot do that, I'm afraid. Um, we have to beat Brighton as well, obviously. Can't look past them. They just beat Man United, so they're going to be on a high. So, yeah, bring on Saturday. And, yeah, subscribe to this channel if you're new. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat and Facebook. And I'll see you next time.